You are Dr. Mary Jo Prince Paul. I'm from Case Western Reserve University, and I'm an assistant professor there and also a postdoc fellow through our National Cancer Institute, Case Comprehensive Cancer Center. Now, why did you do this study? Well, I've been at um, oncology palliative care nurse practitioner for um, over 10 years, and so I've understood the value and the fundamental principles behind integrating palliative care into community oncology practices and advanced cancer. So that's exactly what we did. We needed to systematically measure um, if adding an advanced practice nurse with a palliative care uh, clinical expertise into this community practice would change patient outcomes. And did you change patient outcomes? Well, I think what I first have to say cautiously is it was a pilot study. So um, we use pilot study data in order to inform the next step in intervention studies. So with that being said, our two major findings were that if you were in the palliative care group, you were five times uh, less likely to be um, hospitalized and 15 times less likely to die if you had um, palliative care interventions within your plan of care. What were these interventions? Well, the, what the palliative care advanced practice nurse brings to the patient and family with advanced cancer is um, the ability to spend a lot more time than the physician does in the practice and specifically speaking to symptom management, um, looking at pain, depression, nausea, vomiting, clear symptom management, as well as advanced care planning. So really focusing on what is it that are the patient family goals of care? Is it that they want to see their granddaughter um, be born? Or do they want to take a last trip to Florida? Um, and so really trying to incorporate their goals of care within the medical model. So advanced care planning, um, symptom management, and really overseeing um, is, um, from a holistic point of view the biopsychosocial spiritual needs of the patient and family. So patients actually lived longer who received this palliative care intervention? Exactly. So it's a small, it was a, it was statistically significant with a very small sample size. So we have to say these um, things, these data ha with caution. Um, but what it did do is it, it, it allowed us to um, see importance in going to the next step, which is feasibility and clinical utility and, and um, organizing it out into a multi-site study um, where we bring in different types of community oncology settings with different demographics and geographical um, characteristics. Just one other question. Are you going to carry on this further? Are you going to go further with this uh, work? You did a pilot study. Are you going to go? Right. Just the multi-site study, hopefully being able to be funded. And um, that's a key thing, being able to, to get funding, um, as well as being able to replicate the study with other advanced practice nurses who have specialization in palliative care.